Yeah, so as I think everyone is aware, last year at the show we announced that uh, the Fring Alliance was being put together. And we spent the last year organizing that effort. The key to this was getting a, a bunch of carriers together, not too many, um, but certainly we needed enough to have a credible group. You know, if you have too many people, it's hard to sort of work through something in an entrepreneurial setting. If you don't have enough, you don't really have the credibility to get something off the ground. So we had to select a group of carriers that we thought would be uh, good for this project. And we did that this year. And then what we, next step was getting everybody in the room and working through how they want this to work. What features, what functions, what kind of capability do they want? What, what applications do they want to go after? What market opportunities? So we've worked through that. So now what we have is we have a group of carriers all working together and we have a roadmap of features and functionality that they want us to launch. So we've made a tremendous amount of progress and this year we're going to actually launch the service. Well, everything that we're doing relative to our platform is built on top of Candy. And the reason why is that we can then move quickly to do other forms of applications in the real-time communication space. Now, that's all we're focused on is real-time com communication. So it's things like voice, it's text, picture sharing, collaborations, presence, all of those types of activities. Quite frankly, it's all the things that make applications really interesting, right, and very valuable. So what happened is, when we looked at uniting and federating these carriers, because why? It's the size of the network that's important, right? Without a large community, you don't have anything. It's a sort of Moore's Law, that sort of N squared, if you will, that network effect. But in terms of the feature functionality, we needed to get that defined. What, what is it that the community really wants? What do they want to use? So that's, you can define that today, but tomorrow it's going to change. So then, once it changes, what do you do? Well, if you have a platform that is flexible, then you can add things instantly. So what Candy really is, we took all the intellectual property that we had in GenBand around uh, real-time communications, and we broke it down into small components for easy consumption. So if you wanted a concierge button on an application or a website, you can just pick it up, go to our platform, pick it up, drop and drag, and insert it that fast, and then start using it or billing for it. So what Candy allows the carriers to do is infinitely expand the opportunity around them in their ecosystem. So they can add real-time communications functionality on demand. And so it's a little bit of this sort of fail fast, right? So you, you want to try a lot of stuff to see what works. And we wanted to have an environment where they could do that. So today we define what the Fring product is going to look like. We know it's going to change, but we have the Candy platform that can evolve and change to you know, wherever the market's going. GenBand is all about real-time communication. That's all we do. And we really have two uh, focused areas. One we call network transformation, which is taking all the legacy TDM and PSTN removing it and moving that to IP. And the, the benefits are fairly enormous. You know, lots of sa savings around power and space and people, right? Because there's huge compression when you move to the software IP world. And then obviously all the features and functions and all the, the things that you could do now once you're in the IP domain. So that's our network transformation capability. That's so it's our soft switches and media gateways and SBCs and application servers, all of those products and services. That's in the network transformation space. But to make those products work, you had to have a lot of science. You had to have a lot of real-time communication science. So what we did is we took that science and we broke it down into components. And we built a platform on top of it, an orchestration layer, and that's what Candy is. So the, this, this first segment of our business around network transformation is really focused on protecting the carrier's current business, protect what they have. And Candy is all about invest to grow, embedded communications. It's a whole new growth area for them, a whole new growth engine, where you can go and make applications better. So over here you have sort of protect what you have, over here you have invest to grow, and the two businesses work well together because the science from one is the underpinnings for the technology platform for the other.
carries under enormous pressure because they used to have a few competitors around they knew, and each one could like follow what we, each other were doing, right? But the market changed when the internet came came around, and all of a sudden the over the tops got into into the market, and all of a sudden there was all these new competitors. There was Skype, there's Facebook, there's WhatsApp, there's Viber, there's all these over the top players coming at them all the time. They weren't used to that. They had a a product, you know, uh, life cycle, if you will, that was very well understood. It, you know, it started with development, then you'd go in implementation, it would have several years. That's not the world we live in. You'll see a product become really successful, massively successful, and then it'll just die a year later, right? So now they have to be nimble, they have to move quick. The only way you can move quick is you have to have a cloud infrastructure to do that. There's really no other way. And, and the Googles, the Facebooks, they've linked it, they've all proven that. So the carriers have two choices, build a platform or rent one. We think that renting one makes more sense because to have the, the, just the time to be able to build and the, the time to develop the technology, all this real-time science, it'd be very hard to do. So what we're out doing is taking our platform and making it available to the carriers so that they can fight and compete with these over the tops that are moving very fast. So we're, our game plan is to give them the tools to go out and develop these new markets like embedded communications, unified communications, those types of things. We're going to have our big launch, uh, so we'll be announcing who the partners are. We've tried to be creative in selecting the partners so we get coverage around the world. Um, so we're, We'll be making that announcement and getting the product up and, and launched and federating them, which is, it's going to be an industry first where all these carriers to come together and they federate their address books. So we're really looking forward to do that, meaning you know, you can have a user on one network and a different network and they can act as if they're one. So we're really excited about the federation capability and getting that, that launched. On the candy side, what we've realized is that these components uh, of real-time communications, if you stitch them together into logical like little mini apps, which we call candy wrappers, people can consume them really quickly. So we have come up with about a dozen of these consumables that can go viral, and we're already seeing people just grab them and use them and start using them. So we're really interested to see how many of these candy wrappers go viral this year. I would say uh, busier than uh, ever and busier than I expected. And it's just, it's just amazing, uh, the ecosystem and the, just the industry that's developed here. Uh, I was talking about it, you know, you know 10 years ago. It was, I mean, it, it, it just wasn't, it wasn't much at all, to be honest with you. It was an interesting industry, um, but you now see with the smartphones, this thing has just grown exponentially. I mean, it's just changed the whole, the whole industry has changed. Um, and so it's been, and what's also I think the really cool thing that's happening, these shows used to always be about infrastructure. You know, physical things like fiber or base stations. Now you go walk around the floor, it's all about the application, it's all about the user experience. So it's been a completely, complete change. When you walk around, there's so many new names that, uh, you know, I used to think I knew everyone. It's impossible because these application companies are, are you know, they're just, they're just popping up all over the place. So I think that's what's been really interesting.